Hey everybody. Good morning from West Virginia. Getting ready to go home. No matter how much you love a place, it's nothing like home. I am. I'm ready to go home. But I have enjoyed our little trip up for my mom's birthday and she she did have a wonderful birthday. She had a wonderful dinner and she enjoyed that very much. And she was really pleased with her gifts. And so um, everything went well. And that's good. That's a good thing. That's why we're here was for her. So I'm so happy that everything went so well. And now, get ready to head back home. I wanted to do my summer video before I got on the road. Because I figured if I waited, <clears throat> then I might not find another opportunity. So, really, the main thing is to stay focused on summer and keep the spotlight on summer as a creator keep the spotlight on summer as much as you possibly can pictures of her videos of her talking about her saying her name i mean just keeping her name and face out there and her story and as a viewer supporting all those channels that are working so hard to keep Summer's name and face out there and circulating and trying to raise awareness about Summer to some people who have never even heard of Summer. The best thing that a viewer could be doing right now is watching videos about Summer because that supports the channels in a very big way and to watch those videos all the way to the end and always try to remember to give them a thumbs up they're working hard they're investing a lot of time and research to bring to us all information about summer in her case and to make it as entertaining as they can. And they do a wonderful job. And I'm more low level, low key, but I'm basically doing the same thing. I'm keeping Summer's name out there. I'm talking about her case. I'm saying her name. I'm talking about her. I'm talking about her brothers. I'm talking about her parents. I'm talking about her story talking about the people that are in her case because the sheriff said everything is still on the table. So we had to do a rundown. We had to go through everything on the table. And that included the people in their inner circle. So we've been through it. We've been through it in this case. And a lot of people have turned around and started over and went back through it and then went back through it. I go back every now and then a little bit, but it's hard to go way all the way back there because I have not come so far. I feel like I'm at a point where I feel like it's about to be over. And I really am convinced of that. And it's just uh, a matter of time. It's about to happen any day very soon and all we can do is keep doing what we're doing everybody just keep doing what you're doing and be patient and wait for it in the meantime just continue to talk about summer tell her story to people that have never heard of her um just that's raising awareness. 
Um, I have some paint pens, and I'm going to be putting her name on some rocks up here because this really is not real far from Tennessee. I don't think. But anyway, you know, it don't really matter where you are in the world. Putting her name out there for people to become aware of Summer and her case, it can't hurt. She could be anywhere in the world, alive and well, or she could be just the opposite. We don't know yet. So, little things like writing her name with paint pens on rocks. That's raising awareness. Supporting your favorite YouTube channels by watching their videos all the way through and giving them a thumbs up. Maybe a mention once in a while to help support their channel and help their channel grow. A little shout out. I try to do that once in a while. Well, I haven't been able to watch a lot of videos since I've been up here because I have to be connected to Wi-Fi for good, real good service here. And so unless I'm inside, I usually I don't have enough service to stay connected long enough to do a very long video. That's why I haven't done any longer videos is because we've been outside for the most part that we've been here. And I hope you enjoyed that water video because I walked, a, I hiked a long ways. <laughs> to me, it's a long ways. <laughs> I still feel it. That's how long it was. And had to climb a big hill. It was nice going down, but coming back up, it kind of hurt me. <laughs> but uh, I did go through it for y'all to have that video at down at the lake so i hope you really enjoy that video but i it was very rewarding it was very worth it the time just a few minutes that i spent down there and i even went out onto that t dock that t-shaped dock i don't know if i've posted that yet took a few pictures of the lake. I may not have posted them yet, but I was sitting on that little, that dock. It's where I was sitting when I took that video of the water and I was like within inches of being in the water and the wind was blowing like crazy. You really couldn't tell because I had to put music in the video. So you couldn't really tell the, cause the wind would have drowned out anything and everything. But anyways, uh, that's why most of my videos have just been short because it's, I have to be uh, outside, I mean, inside to have that good of internet. It's really distracting having a view like that. It's, I see birds. I don't know if y'all can see them or not, have seen any going by, but it's just amazing to have this view and I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it so much and I hope you are too. I thought it would be nice and um, from what it looks like, the camera just don't do it justice for just how amazing that view is. Anyway, I'm, I'm still... 
I'm thinking about summer. She's on my mind all the time. Everywhere I go, I think about that little girl. And I'm always looking for her everywhere I go. You never know. And <clears throat> I try to talk about her to people that have never heard about her. And I do videos like this to raise awareness about summer. And really that's the best thing that we can be doing for summer right now is to keep raising awareness about her story and her case. We need all the eyes and ears that we can get for this, for this case. And we need somebody that can, <coughs> I apologize for my voice, I'm going to take a sip of coffee for a minute. My allergies are kind of messing up on me up here in a change of climate, I guess. I don't know what it is, but they're a little bit worse up here, and it's windy. It's cold. I wouldn't really say it's cold, but it's a very chilly, chilly morning. More, way chillier than I'm used to but it's just so crisp and cool out there. I mean, it's nice. It's nice as long as you, you know, you bundle up good with that wind. <clears throat> so my voice is not wanting to cooperate for some reason. And so I want to get back to summer I have not been able to watch a whole lot of videos about her because I haven't spent a lot of time inside where we have Wi-Fi. So I don't know what, what all is really going on out there. If anything big's happening out there, y'all can comment and tell me what's going on out there. What have I missed? because I won't be able to watch any videos until I get home. <clears throat> and I've only gotten to watch a couple, a few, since I've been up here. So if anything's big, big is happening, let me know what's going on because I have no way of, I don't have the time for videos before we leave. And I won't be able to watch videos on the trip because it's such a rural area. And um, internet service will come and go on the road. So, um, depends on where we stop on the way home. I might get some more videos out for you today of the trip home if I see anything like really cool and amazing like that view out there i thought it would be nice to share that with y'all and give you something peaceful and just something beautiful to look at i think it's so relaxing and it's just so beautiful to look at views like this because it makes you realize you know how big the world really is and it's nothing the world is a big big place and nature is just so amazing so beautiful i just i figured a lot of you would really enjoy that.
it's distracting to me. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> I'm sitting here looking at the birds and I'm sitting here looking around enjoying the view. <laughs> right along with y'all and I'm supposed to be talking to y'all. It's beautiful though. It is absolutely beautiful out there and it is distracting. There's so many things that will catch your eye, especially the hawks, the hawks and the birds, period, flying by this high up. It's just really beautiful to see. All of it is. Anyways, I had to do my summer video and this is my summer video and I'm just, like always, raising awareness, talking about her. I've been posting some pictures of her. The ones I posted last time, I've been hanging on to them for a while, but I just, I don't think I've ever posted those. I try not to post the same pictures in the same videos over, you know, like repeats. So I try to uh, post different different ones, but there's only so many, you know. <clears throat> but the, the most the most recent ones, uh, I haven't. I don't think I've ever posted. Maybe I'm, I'm not sure. Some of them I may have posted, but not all of them. And I thought it would be neat to post some of the pictures that I haven't posted and maybe some of y'all hadn't seen some of those pictures either. So I've been, even though I haven't been able to keep up with what's going on out there, um, I have, I have been thinking about her. I've been talking about her to other people. And I told her story to somebody yesterday. And so that makes a difference. You know, any way that you can raise awareness about summer is very, very helpful. Word of mouth is probably the best way. And videos, of course, you can reach a whole lot more people with a video. And I worry about what is happening out there. I wonder what is going on that I'm missing out on. Or have I missed out on anything? I wonder if Candace ever went back home. She was staying at a friend's house camping out for a few days. And so I don't know. I haven't heard yet if she's gone back home yet or if she's had a reaction, public reaction to the situation with her and BK. And was that a good reaction? I mean, it couldn't have been a good reaction, but was it a, more of a sad reaction or was it an angry reaction? I'm, I'm really curious to see if she has spoken out. Um, if she has spoken out yet, I don't know about it. And if, it, there, if there's any big news, I really don't know much about it. So, if you, if you know of any big news going on out there that I missed out on, you could be nice and inform me of what I'm missing out on out there, what's happened, what have I missed. Some y'all need to tell me, what have I missed. Is Candace mad at BK or is she sad or is she upset or is she angry at him? I'd like to know that. Anyway. I posted some pictures of her, of Summer and, uh, 
I'm gonna do some rocks, I'm gonna paint some rocks today. And I'm gonna be posting some pictures of those rocks that I paint. And I'll be doing those as we stop at different places on the way home. And that way I'm raising awareness at each spot that we stop somehow with those rocks. I don't know how many people will see those rocks, but I'll be raising awareness to everybody that does see the rocks and that's making a difference. That's raising awareness too. So I feel I feel better now. I'm, I'm doing my part. I'm I'm doing what I'm I feel like I'm supposed to be doing is talking about summer every day until her case is solved. And I cannot wait for this case to be solved. It has gone on for way too long. And we need to find our baby girl and bring her home. It would be a blessing and a miracle if we could get Summer Wells back unharmed, safe, alive, and unharmed. But I'm so afraid that it might not be that outcome. And I hope that everybody is at least keeping that thought in the back of their mind that it could, this could be a bad outcome. We could find out that something really bad has happened to Summer. I saw a thumbnail but I couldn't get the video to play. It said something about did, did Summer overdose. If anybody has seen that video or has heard anything about Summer possibly overdosing, please leave me a comment and tell me about that. Because why is somebody now saying that? I mean, we've, we've brought it up several times before on this channel that it was a possibility, but I just wonder what brought that video on. Was something, did something happen? Was there any more information about Summer possibly being overdosed? If there's any, if anybody has heard anything about that, please let me know. Like I said, I don't know anything about that. I'm not saying that she did overdose. I'm just saying there was a thumbnail that, of, of a video that somebody else made. And I think it was asking the question, did Summer over, overdose? And I was just wondering where did that video come from? Like, why is why were they talking about an overdose? What brought that up? Anyways, anything, anything new that you might have heard? I haven't heard anything, so y'all need to inform me of what's going on too. And I'll be home today where I can get uh, caught up a little bit today on some on some videos but y'all let me know but let me know what i missed what's going on with about the overdose was there anything to that um is it just speculation a possibility that we've already discussed or is it new information come out that such that could suggest further that that's more of a possibility than we once thought. I'm really concerned about that. I've heard about uh, the interviews with Allie and Sherry and Granny out on the street and the things that they said they referred to like grand, grand buns said something about the day Summer died or the day after Summer died. 
as if she knew that summer had passed on a certain day. And that scares me. That really, really scares me. That was an elderly lady accidentally letting it slip what she, her reality is. Her reality is that Summer passed away on a certain day. And I feel like Allie knows it, Sherry knows it. I think they all know that Summer passed away on that day. And I know that they probably because of Hunter being involved, I'm sure they know a whole lot more about how she, if she passed, they would know more about how she passed and maybe even what was done later. We need, we need to know what does Hunter know, but we can't. We can't know that. I think he's being protected because he's talking. I think he's already talked. I think he finally broke and told the truth. And I think now he's being protected and I hope that's what's happening. I don't know that that is happening. I'm hoping that he's being protected as a witness, I hope he's in witness protection and he needs to be protected. He's a minor and he is a key witness in this case. We don't want any chances of anything happening to another kid and he is still a kid. So I really do hope that he is being protected and I hope that he is telling and I believe he has told everything and I believe that he's probably even afraid to tell his own family that he has told the truth and he may not even be able to even be in contact with his family right now would be my guess. I bet if he is being protected, I'm gonna guess that he is probably not in contact with anybody. Not even his parents at this point for his own safety. And I think it should be that way. I mean, bless his heart. And I hope that he is getting therapy for what all he has seen, what all he went through that day, if he did witness anything, or if he was coached by Candace into taking part in something to do with Summer, and it's it's been weighing on him really hard they said that he wasn't the same. <clears throat> and I think the reason why he wasn't the same is because whatever he knew, whatever knowledge he had, I believe it was weighing down really heavy on his heart. After all the twisted teas wore off and the, the vapes and THC and all that wore off, and the more he thought about it, it the, probably the more it bothered him. And he, he had to get that off of his chest. He couldn't go the rest of his life in holding that secret. And why? Why would he protect Candace all this time? Why would he protect her? Why would he? He has no reason to protect her. She would throw him under the bus and she's accused him of being a liar throughout this whole time. When in fact, most of the stuff that she has said has turned out to be lies. 
Maybe they're both lying. We don't know. But I hope that he's talking to therapists and getting counseling and therapy. And I hope that they're helping him to talk about everything and helping him through all of this stuff because he needs professional help to help him to be able to cope with everything. And I think that's the biggest piece of this investigation right now. I think the biggest piece is him. And I think that's why he's being protected, if he is, in fact, being protected. I'm hoping that he is, and I'm assuming that he is. Because, from what I understand, nobody has seen nor heard of him in quite a while. And he's not been reported missing. So, I can only assume that he's being protected in some way and hidden for his safety. So, and I hope he is, I, mean, I do. Anyways, he is one of the reasons why I feel so strongly that this case is coming to an end really soon because if he is talking or has talked, his statements along with all of the digital evidence that they have collected from what I've heard, a camera, at least one camera, and then some other devices such as phones and I'm not sure at what else of digital evidence that they have taken. But I'm sure that they have found some digital, lots of digital evidence and I'm hoping, that again, I'm hoping that they have found a lot of digital evidence to go along with and possibly even back up Hunter's story. I really hope that it's all fitting together. And if you, anybody out there, anybody that has anything to do with Summer's case, any knowledge about what's happened to that little girl, this is your last chance. It's coming down to the wire. Do you really want that $75,000, that big reward? Do you want it? If you want it, you're running out of time. You're going to pass up that $75,000 reward because you want to protect Candace and Don? Wow. Some of y'all really think a lot of Don and Candace. You think a lot of somebody because somebody out there knows what happened to Summer and they need to come forward and they need to back up their story. They need to tell what they know, how they know, what they saw, what they heard, where they heard it, where they saw it, when they saw it or heard it, and who all knows about it. Everything. Where you heard it, where they heard it, who all you've told about it, it needs to be talked about. Summer's case needs to be talked about. There's a missing link here. There's a missing link. There's a missing piece of this puzzle. There might be more than one. But law enforcement, I do believe, and again, it's just, I'm assuming that law enforcement is on top of this and they're not leaving one stone unturned. They are thoroughly checking into every single report, every tip, every lead that is local and, and valid, credible. They're checking into every everything and everybody and trust me if you have had any involvement your name has already come up 
and it makes you look bad if your name has come up in this case and you're not standing up for yourself. If you're not coming out and explaining your position in this case and how you got into that position in this case, what you know about this case, then you, it makes you part of the case and it makes you one of the bad guys, makes you one of the people that are going to be frowned upon by law enforcement and the public because they had to come for you and you didn't come forward for that little girl. All for who? Don and Candace? And maybe even Grandis? I don't know for sure if Grandis was taking a nap and she don't really know, know everything. Maybe she just knows whatever Candace told her, but I feel like Grandis knows more. And I feel like that Candace and Grandis are both gonna be arrested really soon. They were both the last two people with Summer when Summer got gone. And Summer has never been seen nor heard of since. That alone suggests that it had to be something to do with Candace and Grandis, and there's no evidence of it being anybody else involved. And if there is somebody else involved, my number one suspect's gonna be Don. Don's not getting a pass from me. Don needs to be held accountable for what he, what crimes he may or may not have and possibly, probably did commit in Utah. And um, I believe the victims, I believe their stories about what happened to them as children and Don Wells needs to be held accountable for that and anybody who knows of any potential essay from Don involving Summer, then, then you need to let that be known that you've heard about that, but didn't, maybe you didn't know if it was true, so you didn't want to repeat it because you didn't know if it was true, but now is the time to come forward with, if you've ever heard that, you need to come forward with that. It's very important. That's a very important piece here that we need, law enforcement needs because a lot of people believe that that was happening. And if that was happening, it needs to be proven that that happened. And that way he can be held, held accountable for what he could have done to Summer. He needs to be held accountable for that. Even if it turns out that they are completely innocent, which I doubt, still, I mean, that can't be overlooked. That has got to be investigated. And he has got to be held accountable for that. That might be the reason why she's not here anymore meaning she's somewhere else we don't know where she is but if anybody has any idea about anything if you've heard rumors going around in that area and i know you have i know you have you need to tell law enforcement what you've heard don't take up for Don and Candace. Candace sitting up there profiting and getting unlimited wish list gifts every day from UPS. She just enjoyed a nice few days. I don't know how many days 
camping and fishing trip with all of the gifts from all the donations that people sent in and bought or you know people bought all the wish list items for her and a lot of that was camping gear and she did go camping for a few days with a broken heart and had I guess she had time to cry it out but I hope she's learned from it I hope she has. I hope she has learned from it because Candace has been making some really bad decisions and somebody in her circle needs to have her assessed and evaluated by a doctor and also a psychologist and see if she might be eligible for an overseer, somebody that would be responsible for making the major decisions for Candace at this time. Because she's making decisions that could be very harmful to her. I mean, this situation, that this, this latest incident, if she did not learn from that, then she's going to repeat that with the next guy that comes along. And, you know, when is it, you know, how long is this going to happen? And how many times is it going to happen before somebody hurts her? I mean, I want her to be held accountable for any part of any of involvement in Summer being gone. Whether that be that she possibly sold her, whether that be that she uh, covered up an accident possibly, whether she just has some guilty knowledge, but she, you know, just guilty knowledge. She needs to be held accountable because she is nine months and she has not come forward with that information for her child, her own child. Whether she put a man or somebody else, so she put somebody before her child because she's still withholding information. And the only person that I know of that Candace would want to protect is herself. And I strongly feel that way. I strongly feel that Candace is not going to go out of her way to try to help save anybody else. It's going to be all about her, about saving her. If it's not about saving her, she's not going to have any part of it. In order for Candace to be held accountable, law enforcement's going to have to come up with enough evidence for a prosecution and charges in a prosecution, a conviction, and hopefully they will. And hopefully in the meantime, people are coming forward and helping law enforcement. Because who's to say that big if, big gigantic if, she ever did get them boys back? What if one of them got gone? What if another one got gone? Think about that. There might be secrets that we don't know about that, that also involve the boys. I think there's a lot of secrets that we don't know about involving the boys. And in my own opinion, my own humble opinion, I believe that 
all four children were essayed in that house. By Don, by Candace, possibly Candace, we know that at least another minor was essayed by Candace and even in that house and in other places, allegedly. What their words were, Candace's words were, hook up. She admitted to Jenna that her and him used to hook up. H is who I'm talking about. They used to hook up. I think their hookup spot was Warriors. I think that was a routine, a regular thing that they did. I don't think that was a, anything new. I think that was a, just a normal hookup. And I think he tried to clean out some devices for her and edited some photos, edited some videos for her on the 15th that were older videos. I can tell by the length of Summer's hair in that video of her in the water that day. And in the video in the back seat that day, supposedly that day, the hair was not the same length. And that tells me that that was not the same day. And I know her hair was wet, and I know it's supposed to look different when it's wet, but I can tell. Usually when hair is wet, it looks longer, not shorter when it's wet. She, Her hair was not only shorter, but also thinner in the water. And when she was in that back seat, she had a full head of hair and a little bit more length to it. And she was a little bit bigger in that photo in the back seat than she was in that water. That wasn't taken the same day. And that's why I think that that day they went and cleaned out some devices. They went and had some twisted teas and vapes and hooked up and he cleaned out some devices for Maybe they got rid of some evidence. And maybe even Summer. We don't know yet. But we're going to know soon. We're going to know what Hunter knows. They're going to turn him upside down and shake him up so well. Every little coin is going to fall out of his pockets. Every clue is going to fall out when they get done shaking him up. There won't be anything left in him that he has not told. So Candace needs to come forward and go ahead and tell on herself because she's already been told on. I didn't really want to say that because he is a minor and I don't want to I don't want to take any chances of risking any jeopardy to the case, but this is just my opinion. My opinion is that he is in some sort of protective custody because he is a key witness. I believe he has talked, and I believe now Candace needs to jump up and run her butt down to TBI as fast as she can get there and she needs to run in there and tell her story to TBI because a story has already been told about what happened to Summer. So Candace needs to be running in there and telling the real story about what happened to Summer, now is the time. There is no other time. 
Candace is running out of time. She is on borrowed time right now. She's running out of time. And the court will have more mercy on her if she comes forward on her own. And the same goes for anybody else who might have any involvement in this case. You need to be going down there and explaining your involvement and why you're involved, how you got involved, what you know, how you know it. And if you know any really good evidence, really good information, for law enforcement, you might even get a reward. Wouldn't that be nice? What could we all do with $75,000? My goodness. I don't even know what I would do. I don't even know what I would do. I've never thought about it. I've never had a chance of getting $75,000. So I've never had a reason to think of what I would do, but I have no idea what I would do, but I would do good things with it. One of them being, I probably would buy me a nice RV and do some traveling. I love nature. I want to, one day I would love to be able to visit the Grand Canyon. I've never been there, but I've always wanted to hike their trails. And I've always wanted to go to the Niagara Falls. I've never been there. I'm very fascinated with nature and waterfalls. And the Niagara Falls, I am just blown away by that. And I would love the opportunity to be able to go there sometime, someday. And even Utah, I've always wanted to go to the Arches. I've always wanted to go to Utah and Colorado. And just, there's a lot of places that I've always wanted to go to and do hiking trips and nature, exploring nature, exploring different parts of the world that I've never had the opportunity to go. Such beautiful places out there and to be able to capture footage of those places for my nature videos channel. That would just be awesome. Maybe one day, maybe one day, you never know. A miracle might happen, like maybe a miracle will happen and I'll turn out to have like millionaire or billionaire subscribers donating to my cash app. <laughs> big donations from their big old giant bank accounts. That would be like a dream come true, but it's also not likely. I know that, y'all. I know that it's not likely. We are still, I think we're still in the pandemic. I know we're still feeling the effects of the pandemic here. I say here, but I mean in our lives. Um, and every, almost everybody I know is still feeling the impact of the pandemic. We all have. And it's been hard. It really has. And I understand that because it's been hard for us too. And for almost everybody I know. I don't know anybody that's rich or I don't know anybody that's a millionaire. And I probably never will. But miracles happen anyway. So you never know. You never know what the future holds. None of us do. We could all have miracles about to happen in our lives and we don't even see it coming. 
There's a lot of things to look forward to in life that we're not even aware of yet. And if we think positive thoughts and we keep a positive vibe and we try our best to do what's right in life, we know right from wrong. We know what feels right and what feels wrong. If it feels right, do it. If it feels wrong, don't do it. It's easy. Keep a good karma by just always doing what's right. Anyways, there's my video for today. It's been almost an hour. I try to keep it a little bit under an hour if I can because it takes so long to upload our long videos. Anyways, thank you for being here. Thank you for hanging out with me through my nature videos if you're here for summer. Thank you for putting up with my nature videos along with summer videos. And just thank you for being here. And I hope you've enjoyed the nature scene. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. I've really enjoyed enjoyed it. And I'm, I'm going to miss it. I really am. I'm going to miss this view. But I tell you what, I will miss it. But I got videos of it. And I am ready to go home. <laughs> So, I'm going home, and I'll see y'all later. Thank you for watching.